y'all, I have a confession to make. With Christmas this past weekend, I didn't have the time or energy to find anything to respond to or really cover properly on this channel. So I picked something easy I could knock out real quick. A year-end recap. Just because something's quick and easy doesn't mean it can't be good content, right? Well, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Alright. 2021 was a hell of a year. Unfortunately, for many of us, not in a good way. It was another rough one in my house, and because of all the nonsense, I didn't get out as many videos as I'd left like to. I skipped a lot of weeks. Of the ones I did get out, there are a few I'm really proud of. So today, I'm doing a best of type video as if I'm the kind of creator anyone wants to see that from. But hey, let's do it anyway. I'm gonna I'm a have fun with it. First one has to do with one of the most dramatic parts of my year. This hate comment response video was done after I went viral on TikTok for an email I sent to a professor who didn't want to use my correct pronouns. Or my my pronouns at all for that matter. Some of the comments were really entertaining, some were concerning, some were heartwarming, but this video mostly highlights the first two kinds. It's a fun little watch if you don't mind getting annoyed with bigoted idiots. I think I screwed that up a little bit. People absolutely love to hate. We'll get through this though, one step at a time, together, you and me. Um, so last I checked, schools were supposed to teach correct information. There are two real genders and a bunch of made up ideas. So the teacher was correct, <laughs> academically speaking. Based on your punctuation alone, I'm going to have to assume that you didn't get very far academically. They or them is plural. Only one person being addressed cannot be addressed as they. Oh my god! Oh my god, they're totally right! I didn't want to agree with them, but they have a point! They've presented totally new information that I've just never heard before and definitely hasn't been debunked a thousand times. What's that? I've used the singular they like four times in this paragraph? Oh goodness, we can't have that now, can we? Next up is a video where I talk about childhood indoctrination. I found this baby Bible at a thrift store and it sort of just kicked off this whole thing. Childhood indoctrination is something I feel strongly about. It's wrong to take advantage of a child's inherent vulnerability to push religion on them. Since this video was so early in the year, it was before some of my newest major trauma, and I am funnier in it than I have been lately. There are a lot of jokes about how trauma can make you funny, but I feel like it needs to sit for a while before it starts to make you funnier. Right now, I'm still in the raw phase that just makes me more awkward, but we're getting there. Hopefully. We'll see. Maybe I'll just be extra awkward forever. That'd be fun too, I guess. Okay. Alright, so first off, I found this fish. Praise Jesus, Joy! It is amazing that some of his followers have lived 2,000 years just so that he could keep his promise. What do you mean that was a failed prophecy? No, but show me a big smile. Your biggest smile. You can smile bigger than that. Bigger. That's really the best you can find. Whatever. Now we've got one that really gets on my nerves, under my skin, maybe even under my fingernails. I don't know. It's really irritating. The goddamn super straights. Look, it's really simple. You don't want to date someone with a penis? Fine. You don't want to date someone with a deep voice or who's taller than you or has an Adam's apple or whatever? Fine. But if you don't want to date a trans woman solely because she's trans... That is transphobic. It's transphobic because you're not seeing her as the woman she is. Not every trans woman has a deep voice, an Adam's apple, lots of muscle, whatever else. Not every cis woman excludes all those things. So to dismiss the idea of dating a woman purely because she isn't cis shows that you don't see her as a real woman. I get into a bit more detail in this video, so go ahead and check it out if you'd like and maybe start an argument in the comments. Have fun. Go at it. But Shade, how is it transphobic to have a preference? Trans woman or woman? And trans men are men. If you're watching this the day it premieres, you're watching it on my birthday. If you go your whole life never finding yourself attracted to a single trans person, that's fine. The problem is that you don't see trans women as women and trans men as men, and that is what is transphobic. Stop trying to make super straight happen. It's not going to happen. I just want to make it abundantly clear that identifying as super straight is transphobic and tell you exactly why that is. What's so funny and ironic here is that they're actually really close to making a valid point, just not the one they think they're making. 
Moving into purity culture. I was gonna say it's the only demonetized video on this list, but I checked and it's actually one of three that are demonetized. Super straights and childhood indoctrination are also demonetized, so everything so far. I guess that's not what makes this video special. Maybe what makes it so special is that my hair is green in this one. In this one, we watch a video from Christians telling you how bad fornication is and I tell you how fun it is. Debunking and challenging claims, yada yada, but mostly talking about how fun sex can be and make fun of ridiculous people. My guy, what the hell are you saying to your partners in bed? But I would like to point out the dangers of sexual sin by comparing it to speeding or texting while driving. Yeah, I can see this. Both of them, they both are, no, okay, I'm sorry, you lost me. Can you explain? I mean, I guess there was that one time that I passed out in the middle and the person I was with thought I had died. Now let's compare it to this map, which I apparently affectionately named Sex Bad 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 Sex Oh No while saving it, although I must admit I don't remember doing so. Finally, we have one about a pastor who got arrested for being homophobic. It, of course, fueled Christian's persecution complex, but also wasn't as black and white as it seemed to be. It never is, is it? Things are never quite that simple. That one might have been my favorite on this list to me. I got to explore something I hadn't seen anyone else talk about and find my own perspective on it based on totally biased sources. It didn't end up being super straightforward or anything either. It was really pretty gray in the end and that kind of made it a lot more fun for me. I wasn't saying anything homophobic. I was just saying this homophobic thing. Let's consult my small stack of Bibles. In fact, that's about where I stand on that issue. To prove an intent to provoke a breach of the peace seems unlikely if you need any more positivity he's so happy look at oh my god look how many extra toes he has obviously all of these were from before i changed my format so that's a little weird in 2022 i really look forward to exploring this new format and really finding my footing with it so again shorter video weird one because i didn't have much energy to put into making this one but it has given me more time to start working on next week's video so that we can start 2022 off with a bang. Thank you all so much for watching. Extra special thank you to my patrons who are listed right here. Extra, extra special thank you to my top tier spooky bitch patrons, Aaron and Michelle. If you would like to become a patron or maybe a top tier spooky bitch patron, the link to that is in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Follow along, see what 2022 has to hold. And as always, stay unholy my friends side note i do want you to know that even though i'm not on camera anymore i am still doing the prayer hands when i say stay unholy you just can't see it <laughs>